Okay, let me see if I can show you how to tighten your bobbin case in the Singer Heavy Duty Machine. Uh, first thing we're going to want to do is remove the foot, then remove our needle. Get those out of the way, and pop off our cover for our bobbin case, set it aside. Go ahead and remove our bobbin. You've got one in the machine. And now there are two screws here on the uh, plate that we need to remove. So you've got this little tool with your machine. You can use it for what I'm going to be doing here. I've got a little screwdriver that I use. And just unscrew it. Just turn it a couple of times and then you can take your finger and get the screws out. So get those set them aside and then we're going to be able to remove our needle plate. So we'll remove that, set it aside. And now there are two screws right here that from the factory are extremely tight. So you're going to have to take your little tool that they gave you with your machine, line it up on there as best you can, kind of put some pressure down and pull real hard to loosen those up. They're very tight so you you may have to really clamp down on it and pull really really hard to get them loose. So once you get them loose, you don't have to take them all the way out. We just want to loosen. There's a little bar here that holds the bobbin case in. And that's because this machine sews at such a high speed, it keeps everything steady. So once you get it loose, you can pull the bobbin casing out. And the screw that tightens the tension has yellow paint on it. So you're going to have to take your little device here, the small end, stick it, find the little groove in the screw, and bust that screw loose where you can turn it. So. I'm going to use my little screwdriver here to tighten your tension. Uh, if it's really loose, uh, go ahead and turn it in between a quarter and a half turn. And so once you've done that, anyway, what you're going to want to do is kind of notate where it is, where the alignment mark is on the uh, screw head. And then take your screwdriver in there and bust that paint loose where you can turn it freely and then go ahead and turn it again a quarter to a half turn somewhere in there and then we're going to have to test so this would be a good time to go ahead and get you a brush and clean out your bobbin case make sure there's no lint in there you see a little bit of lint in this machine so i've wiped it out so we need to put this back in the yellow screw is going to be toward you you're going to see a little uh, notch here and that's going to go against this uh, stop right here so make sure this stays to the left of that stop when you put your uh, bobbin case in so you're going to have to place it in and get it nice and flat so work it in like that everything will lay down flat you'll be able to rock it back and forth and make sure that little stop goes that little notch goes up against that stop right there so it's right in there and as you rock it back and forth you'll see the notch hits the stop and that's when it's in correctly so we'll go ahead and tighten these screws up right here go ahead and finger tighten the screws first and then tighten them up with your screwdriver I bought this little screwdriver. I think I got it at Joanne if I remember right. And it's perfect for this because it's short enough to, to get into these places. It's just a whole lot easier to turn the screws, but you'll have to use your little tool if you don't have one of these. Take your time. Tighten those up really good. And then we need to put our
plate back on. It should drop in there. If it doesn't drop in nice and flat, it means your bobbin case is not in correctly. So take it off and undo the screws again and make sure that gets in there nice and flat and that you can rock it back and forth a little bit smoothly. So put our screws back in. Tighten them first, clamp them down nice and tight. You don't need to over tighten it, just get it snug. Then you can insert your bobbin back in. Put your case back on and test your stitches. So what you're going to want to see is that your uh, top thread uh, is, you know, got a nice stitch in it. So I'll tell you what, let me go ahead and uh, get some thread, get a needle back in. Get a small thread. And it's good when you're doing your test to use different color threads for the top and the bottom. That will allow you to see clearly what's going on. not good here because of the camera and the lights so give me just a second raise my foot up pull my thread nice and tight or get my tension thread in between my tension disc Okay, and get my bobbin thread pulled up. There she is. So we've got gray on the top and I've got white on the bottom. I press her foot down, turn the machine on. All right, got a small piece of flannel here. Give it a try on. See how it looks. All right, let's see my tension set at four, which is average. Stitch length down to three. Okay, and this is what you should see. There's the bottom, all white, no gray showing. And there's the top. I've got a little bit of white showing on the top, so that means my tension in my bobbin is still a little bit loose. So I'll take it apart and I'll tighten it up just a little bit more. I actually loosened it some by messing with it, try to show you what was going on. So uh, I'll go ahead and take it off and tighten it back up. The goal is gonna be, especially with something this thick, I shouldn't see any white on top and I shouldn't see any gray on bottom. So my top tension's good because I don't see any uh, gray on the bottom. 
but my bottom tension is too loose because I'm seeing white thread on the top. It should pull it down in between the layers of the fabric where you can't see it for per perfect tension. So anyway, hopefully that'll give you an idea of how to adjust the tension in the bobbin case and uh, just turn it a quarter. If it's way off, you can go ahead and turn it about a half turn, but generally about a quarter at a time, insert it back in, test, and repeat until you get again the tension that I just described. So anyway, hopefully this will help you out and uh, let me know if you have any other questions and I'll be glad to try to answer them. Take care.